YouTube, YouTube was good. This your boy 247. Post C section. And um yeah, it's been going down. Shit has been rough. But look, no sleep, but we still getting it in. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually on my little break right now when my girl got her shit. She covering, she covering shift right now. You know what I'm saying? It's about 8:30 in the morning. Um today though, today we probably bring we not probably we're gonna bring the pups to the vet to get checked out. We're also gonna bring tsunami into the vet. Um, just so she can get checked out post her C-section -sur surgery, make sure she's okay, make sure she's healthy, fine, you know, everything's normal and as it should be. So that's today. We're going to the vet. Um, I'm going to also let y'all see the whooping room, let y'all see a sneak peek of the puppies and how everything's been going down. As y'all know, we did lose a puppy, but I mean... I talked about that in my other video, so it ain't. I'm not gonna keep on touching on that. But we did lose a puppy, so we got four. We got three girls and one male left, all merles. Um, one of the girls I really like, she like a lilac and tan with a merle head. But um, but yeah, so I'm gonna let y'all see what the fuck we got going on, the setup. Even though I showed y'all a video of the setup, how the setup's been working. Um, I'm out here right now with my boy Bruce. You know what I'm saying? Getting getting my smoke on. But anyways, man, I'll be I'll be back when I get inside, when I go back and pick up shit. And let y'all see what we got going on. And like, comment, share, subscribe, all that shit, man. If you don't follow us on, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, please go do that. Exotic Frenchie Boutique. And yeah, it's going down. All right, this is where we at with it. This this our little track there right here. We've been sleeping at my, my lady work area. And as you see, tsunami, we got all our all our whelping shit, feeding shit, I mean, just in case we got the tubes and everything, which we haven't have been having to feed and none of that, but we have been having to aspirate them. Um, well, just one of them, because he always got, he, I guess he's just drinking too fast. But, here's Tsunami, chilling with her pups. We, we, we keep the pups out when they eating and shit and then you know a couple minutes after they eat but we try to like give her some give her a break so we just keep the pups in here with a heat pad and a towel over it so they don't get too hot and um they just be they just do their thing in there for real for real the tsunami she watches over them i don't think she had an ounce of sleep for 48 hours if she did it's probably only been about two hours of sleep she won't sleep she got and won't she won't leave her pups so she actually turned out to be an awesome mom. We thought it would be the total opposite. So yeah, this was going on. Now, now the nursing though, it, it, it's a little tricky to get her to lay down cause she just so fucking antsy and turned up. She don't even want to lay down, but once they get latched on, we good. They latch on, they eat, they do their thing. We stimulate them back in the box. She got her food over there, water over there. That bowl, we keep some goat's milk in because she like to drink goat's milk. All right, so we just changed her pad out. Got it nice and clean in here for her so she could get ready for some feeding. This, this really be the roughest point part of the shit because she don't like to lay down. She ain't having no chill right now, no relaxation, no none of that shit. So yeah, let me, let me get her laid down and then I'll be back. So I just been like letting her stimulate them before latching them on so she could get a little, I mean, she's comfortable with them. But I guess just that laying down and having them suck on her titties, she like, ugh. But this kind of been helping a little bit. Come on, Tutu. Like, she just be real tense. Let's get this little, little girl on. Cause she the smallest, so I try to put her on first on the biggest titty or nipple. And then, this girl. Hold on, Tutu. Hold on. It's okay. Let your little girl eat. Hold on. And we getting this one a little stimulated before it goes on. This the other little one. So I try to put the two little ones on first. And then I get the big girls on. 
Going, she, that's the he, that's the boy right there. He's going at it. And this is, it's another girl. This is one of the bigger girls. She's pretty as hell. Let me see her face. Big old head, smashed nose. Yeah, she's fire. Hold on, Tutu. Hold on, Tutu. Hold on. Ready. Hold on, Tutu girl, right there. There's milk coming out right there. Good girl. And then put the other big girl. We got the big girl, Lizzo, over there in the box. She goes in. You think we should wait? Yeah, we can wait. Yeah, let them get some. Yeah, because she goes ham when she goes, and she feeds longer anyway. For sure. Yeah, I actually do put her on last. Because the other ones don't get and her big ass body. She gets knocked out the way. He falls asleep under her. Yeah, he, she does too. She don't eat that much. It's a little lilac with some nice tan points. Merle head. They all got pretty bomb, pretty decent heads. All right, I'm gonna come back though when we get when we get bigger when we get Lizzo latched on. Big girl. Big girl. That's Lizzo right there. That's the big girl. We're gonna get her. She just gonna latch on herself anyways. Get you. You gotta relax, baby. And that's that. They they so damn small. They feed and don't last that long. Right at this point. Let, let Tsunami clean up her little baby. She's so protective over these motherfuckers. Like, she is insanely protective. And like I said, we just keep them in here when they're not feeding. So that way she can still be with her pups. But can't really, you know, roll over on them or... And you know, for real, they seem pretty comfortable in here. They actually like this box when it's not too hot, so. This actually works. Choo choo. Yeah, the Lizzo be going in. And of course, Keep track, feedings, times, and as well as the weights on each puppy. Every day, same time. All right, y'all. So we still in that 48 hour welcome period. I'm actually outside right now. I'm in the garage right now. I'm taking a smoke break. Try to get my shit right because you know this shit is exhausting. But anyway, so quick update from earlier video. Um... We did have to go to the vet, turns out. We've been corresponding with the vet via text messages and phone calls and shit, so we we able to like send them pictures and communicate like that in case we have any issues or concerns. So everything has been going good. Pup, all, all the remaining pups are feeding. They latching on to their moms. They taking the milk tsunami, goozing out milk. So we good on that aspect. Um, What else, what else? But I'm gonna, and I'm gonna say this. Welping is only hard as you make it. If you prepare, if you, if you got all your shit in a row, you stay clean, you stay on time, you stay organized, man, it's, it's actually not that hard. You're going to lose a lot of sleep, but if you stay on your shit, you do, you do what you got to do, it's really only going to be as hard as you make the shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, so well, I'm just really out here just spending some time with Bruce so he don't feel neglected and, you know what I'm saying, got, got, that, that my boy, you know what I'm saying? So um, the first 48 hours, man, it's been going good. This is like the most critical moments critical time so we rocking this shit out y'all see that we got the boobies on the back shout out booby gang but um yeah though man you already know man we, we rocking this shit this is just the update from early i'm gonna just cram all these videos in one and just because i thought we was going to the vet today but turns out we don't have to go so we will go to the vet on week six for the pups uh wellness checkup as well as tsunami um Brucey goes to the vet actually on the 7th. He ain't got nothing to do with this, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. And then the pups will get in six weeks and get their get their shots and their um their dewormer. Even though I will probably deworm them at two weeks, four weeks, and then bring them in on the six week to be dewormed, because I'm I'm sure you can never um deworm them too much. Well, you can, but you know, not at not at that rate I was just talking about. Um 
So, yeah, man, if you open pups, if you open Frenchies or whatever, man, just make sure you prepare. Make sure you keep your area and your spaces clean. Make sure your mother dog is comfortable. Um, there's a lot of other shit, too, to do in, pre in preparing, preparedness, whatever, whatever that word is, to get ready. Um, like, we was having tsunami on the Thompson bitch pills or the Oxymate. Um, we switched up her diet. Make sure you switch to that puppy food, too, for the pregnant females. Um, she was getting her calcium. She was getting her vitamin A, her vitamin D. All that good stuff from Omega 3s. So, yeah, man, shit, shit's going good. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all stay tuned, stay posted. If you ain't following, subscribe to my joint. Go to my Instagram, go to my YouTube, go to my TikTok, Exotic Frenchie Boutique. Same thing across all platforms. And, um, yeah, man, I'll be back with another video. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably, I'll probably have some more, I'll probably have some more footage in this video too of some nighttime feed in, some nighttime stimulations. and changing the pads and shit like that but uh, i just want to come in and give a quick update but yeah though y'all be easy this is how tsunami looking 48 hours afterwards i just took her outside in the bathroom as you see she's dying she's dying to get back inside to get to her pups go ahead go up the stairs too go ahead and everybody right there behind me bruce come on you come on my boy let's go come on but um yeah, though, she come, she go out, she get straight the fuck back upstairs to her pup. She don't want nobody around him. She don't want, she's real, boy, when I, I keep saying it because she so surprised her so much. We thought she was really going to be like a, a bad mom, but no, nah, she is like, yeah, she's doing her thing. She's helping her stimulate the puppy. She's, she's always on it. Um, yeah, she's doing really good. So I can't, I can't, I can't even complain. You know what I'm saying? She produces a lot of milk and yeah but that, that was tsunami so i just took her out let her get her little bathroom break in and i was carrying her up and down the stairs the first night um even last night and shit but she kind of just want to walk and do her own thing so i'm just letting her do her you know what i'm saying um the doctor said it's cool so yeah <laughs> Tsunami is actually finally getting some rest, like some real rest. The pups over here chilling. We changed out the, the container so it's not so low. They was climbing up the shit, hanging, trying to hang over the sides and all types of shit. So I changed it to this. Only thing is this didn't come with no lid, so I'm kind of keeping a little covered with this. FYI, if you saw my other video with the what you call it with the uh um the incubator, I would not recommend this shit at all. Anytime you grab it, tip it, water immediately. I don't even know why they made it to load like that, but this is not a good buy. Water just spills all out of the shit. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend this bad boy right here. I would go with another dehumidifier. All right, so this actually seems to be pretty helpful too. She's putting like little pads up underneath them and, and in between her legs to like prop open. Basically so she's comfortable and, and they feed not and not squirming all around and the puppy's not being squished. So this actually has been. Ah, right, and another thing. If you got this this cord in here for the, the heating pad, a good tip is to tape it, which I'm actually about to do because I just came back in the room and I saw that a pup was actually like right here. His head was like right there behind it. So you don't want that shit. I don't want that shit. So tape it up. I'm actually about to tape it up. I'm coming back to show you how I did it. And then I'm also going to put this thermometer in here. I mean, is this a thermometer? It's basically a thermometer. Temperature gauge. Um, I'll probably like stick it right in there with my Velcro that I got from Walmart. And um, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, we back. So Ben, you see, I just put a piece of tape right there, flat, laid that hole down, put that in there. Um, I don't know if it's accurate right now because I was just holding that shit and putting it sticky on, but yeah. With three of the pups. They about to get their feeding on. What? Oh, she don't want that. She's yeah, they about to get their feeding on. All right, y'all, we back. It's the next morning. and Well, actually, it's afternoon, but wrapping up the first 48 hours of this whelping process, it's just been pretty good. Can't, can't come. Even though last night they, they was having some issues sleeping, they was just not, not getting comfortable, I guess. 
but we got that squared away. They slept, eight, slept, eight, slept, eight. Every two, it, and this is the other thing. It's not even really every two hours. It's like every hour because you feed them. It's going to take a whole hour basically to get through that process. So then in the next hour, you got to do that shit all over again. So it's really like every hour, not every two hours. But uh, for you, that is. Um, the other thing I want to say, get an aspirator. We got a couple of these little these ones the, the handy ones that you use yourself but we also got this uh shit was on amazon it it, it, it does the job really well but um because i noticed one of my pups one of my, the last the, the remaining male he almost every time he eats he aspirates a little bit of milk starts to come out his nose or some shit like that and that's really because they just be going ham at it but um yeah so make sure you got your aspirator on deck also, an oxygen con uh, condenser is something that I didn't have. Co oxygen concentrator is something that I didn't have that I wish I had. It probably would have gave me a whole hell of a better chance of saving the little man. But um, I got one on the way, so we, we, we won't run into that issue no more. I got one. I actually found one on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, for like 350 so, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. it it's going to do the job. Man. I don't care where it come from, but... um. Other than that, man, yeah, so we wrapping up the first 48 hours of this welcome shit, man, and I'm tired, but it's all good. Nigga been tired before, so it ain't, it ain't nothing that I ain't gonna get through. Um, other than that, man, I'm probably gonna drop some other videos after this. I'm gonna drop some, some informative videos on things you need to know about, you know, this first 48 hours of welcome and shit like that and i'm gonna just keep dropping content so y'all stay tuned y'all make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all like my shit make sure y'all i know i'm looking rough and shit right now but yeah man go check me out on instagram facebook tiktok exotic frenchy boutique across all platforms um yeah let me get into it because it's time for a feeding so i'm about to get into it but yeah i'll see y'all on the next one peace one love i'm out mm -hmm.